to the trip. Today, we are going to see the most important interview questions that will be asked in civil engineering interviews. The first question is, what is the difference between one-way slab and two-way slab? It depends on L by B ratio of the slab. L by B is greater than 2, then it is called as the one-way slab. If L by B ratio is less than 2, then it is called as two-way slab. The other most important difference is the one-way slab is always supported on two sides only, that is on longer side. But the two-way slab is supported on all the four sides. The next question is, what is soil reinforcement? Reinforcement provided to soil to improve stiffness and shear strength of the soil is called as soil reinforcement. It can be in the form of grid or anchors or sheet plates. In this picture, the grid shape is shown. Next question is, what is crank and why it is done? Bending of reinforcing bar is known as crank. It is provided to eliminate the negative bending moment in the bars. So, this is the crank and the distance between this inclination is called as the crank length. It should not be less than 300 mm. Scales. So, it is very important to know the scales. 1 meter is equal to 1000 mm. 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. 1 centimeter is equal to 10 mm. 1 meter is equal to 3.28 feet. 1 feet is equal to 12 inches. 1 inch is equal to 2.54 centimeter. What is the standard size of brick? Actually, in interviews, we should mention the size of brick in inches and not in mm. So, the standard size of brick in inches is 8 cross 3.5 cross 2.25 inches. What is pozzolanic material? Material which do not have cementitious property but when water is added react with calcium hydroxide at normal temperature and then possess cementitious property. This kind of material is called as a pozzolanic material. The most commonly used pozzolanic materials are GGBS slag and fly ash, silica fume etc. Define specific gravity and specific gravity of cement is. It is the ratio of density of any substance to the density of reference substance. The reference substance is always water. The value of specific gravity for cement is 3.15. Steps involved in concreting process. These are the most commonly followed steps in concreting process. First is batching, then mixing and transporting, placing, compaction and curing. The maximum energy stored within elastic limit of a material is known as, it is known as proof resilience. The value of proof resilience can be found by integrating the stress strain curve with a limit of 0 to the elastic limit of the curve. Next is, how will you convert square feet to meter square? This is the most important question. So, the area in meter square is equal to area in square feet divided by 10.76. This is the formula to convert. Dimensions of thread and riser of a staircase. So, this is the thread where we place our foot and this is the riser. So, thread is 11 inches, riser has a value of minimum 4 inch to maximum of 7 inches. Total reaction time of a driver. According to PIEV theory, the reaction time of a driver is 2.5 seconds. PIEV theory means it is the perception, intellection, emotion and volition theory. What is 
cohesion it is the force that holds the particles together it is a shear strength component in soil if two particles stick together the sticking capability is known as cohesion the most commonly mentioned cohesive soils are clay and black cotton soils difference between working stress method and limit state method working stress method has the load carrying capacity up to its elastic limit it has large dimension structures it's it is still used for designing of large structures like dams in limit state method load carrying capacity will be up to its plastic limit that is more than the working stress method because of factor of safety is taken into account the sections will be smaller when compared to working stress method why tmt is used instead of normal steel thermo mechanically treated rod that is tmt rod has high strength high weldability and high corrosion resistance when compared to normal steel what is hybrid foundation it contains both soil supported mat this is the soil supported mat and also piles it is used in high rise buildings which has to withstand more load it reduces the settlement also what is demising walls it is simply known as the separating walls or partition walls which separates the area from uh, from the neighboring area what is build up area and super build up area build up area is the carpet area plus area included by walls and pillars usually it is 10 percentage more than the carpet area super build up area build up area plus area of building amenities like lift staircase and club gym etc what is the strength of cube at different stages the strength of cube at 3 days is 40% and in 7 days is 65% and 14 days it is 90% and in 28 days it is 99% different is codes used in civil engineering is 456 this is the most common is code used for civil engineers is 456 is what code of practice for plain and reinforced concrete is 457 code of practice for general construction of plain and reinforced concrete for dams and other massive structures is 3370 code of practice for concrete part 1 to 4 structures for storage of liquids is 800 it is for steel structures is 73 specifications for paving bitumens thank you for watching our video for more videos subscribe to our channel